Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Do you hear me? Teacher, how are you? Hello, hello. Can I? Teacher, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. How's everything? Como están? Here, missing you. Thank you, Eddie. I was in a very bad shape Sunday, Monday, and now I was a little, a little sick yesterday. But today I am okay. I feel okay. So I'm here. Yes. All right. Only one, two, three, and four people. Myra, Asalia, hello, Yancy. Hey guys. Welcome, bienvenidos. Vamos a escuchar quizás. All right. Very good. We're here. How are you, Jorge? Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I, I, I. Uh, I'm afraid if today we don't have classes again. Sorry? But te está un poco temeroso que no hubiera clases ahora también, pero qué bueno verlo, de verdad. Oh, thank you, thank you, yes. It, it was difficult. It was difficult. I am still in Hi, no, but but más o menos. <laughs> más o menos. Hi, Asalia. Yeah. How are you? Teacher. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Surprise. Hi, hi. Aquí estamos, hemos regresado. Qué bueno, que me alegro. Pero no al 100, sino que al 200. Eso. Yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. Ya estaba triste. Uh, why? What happened? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bienvenidos. Diana, hello. Welcome. Me va a dar guys. All right. We're going to start. We're going to start by reviewing the last topic. Okay. And uh, let me give you a brief, a brief summary of what we did last class or uh, Thursday last week. Yes. Do you remember anything about gerunds? What is a gerund? Do you remember anything about gerunds? No? Yes. Um, verb in ing form? Exactly. It's a verb. It's a verb. Let me put it up here. It is a verb. Plus ing. It's a verb plus ing. Hold on. Whose function is as a noun or adjective? Okay. Cuya función es como un, como un sustantivo o como un adjetivo. Yes. That is the function of it. And uh, we have we have three forms, three forms in which we can use gerunds. We can use gerunds gerunds as subjects, all right? That's one thing. We can use gerunds as objects of verbs, uh, after verbs, after verbs, after specific verbs. And we use, we also use gerunds as, or after prepositions, gerunds after, there you go. 
So these are the three functions. These are the three functions of gerunds. We use gerunds as subjects. We use gerunds after specific preposition, sorry, verbs. And we use gerunds after some prepositions. Let me give you one example for each. Uh, we can say singing. Look, singing in public is hard. Singing in public is hard. Cantar en público es difícil. Cantar en público es difícil. Singing in public is hard. Okay, observen el singing. No es cantando, okay? Recuerden que el gerundio no es un verbo con ing. Solo es una, part, una regla gramatical que usamos el verbo con la, es con la ing, pero no es un verbo. Okay, acá dice cantar en público es difícil. Okay, yes. Singing in public is hard. Another example, well, here, the same. Another example here, we can say, um, working, working over time, working over time, should Look, working overtime should be paid double. Trabajar tiempo extra debería ser pagado a doble. Okay, working, working, trabajar, no trabajando. Okay, yes, working overtime should be paid double. Hold on. Okay, now, gerunds after specific verbs. Let's see, I dislike. No me gusta. I dislike, look, I dislike um, filling out forms. I dislike filling out forms. Filling out or fill out significa rellenar o llenar o completar. Formularios. Form es formulario. I dislike filling out forms. No me gusta completar o llenar formularios. Okay, filling, filling is the, is the gerund. El verbo acá es dislike. All right. After, after the verb dislike, we can use any verb as a gerund. I dislike going. I dislike checking. I dislike dancing. I dislike looking, I dislike, uh, etc. We have many options. Okay, I dislike filling out forms. No me gusta completar formularios. Another example, they, well, the managers, managers, enjoy, Observing. The managers enjoy monitoring the employees. Los gerentes disfrutan monitorear. Monitorear a los empleados. Monitoring over here is the cheering. Okay, se usa justo después del verbo enjoy. You can say the managers enjoy going, enjoy sleeping, enjoy writing, etc. We have many options. Share us after some prepositions. I plan. Después del el plan, después de ese on que está ahí, se usa una preposición, un gerundio. I plan on, y se planeo ir. Pla, I plan on, no, I plan on working at Google. I plan on working at Google. Planeo trabajar en Google. Working, working es el gerundio que, es, que está a la par de una preposición. El on es una preposición 
Después de ese plan 11, usa una, un gerundio. Ok, vamos a ver. I am tired. I am tired of. Estoy cansado de. Estoy cansado de. I am tired of. We can say I am tired of. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, there you go. I am tired of living in my neighborhood. He said, Soy cansado de vivir en mi vecindario. Okay, muy bien. Eso es un gerundio. Y así es como se usa un gerundio. Se usa como sujeto, se usa después de verbos específicos y se usa después de preposiciones. Ok, that's how we use gerunds. Ok, ya me comparto acá, vamos a ver. Ok, hello everybody else, uh, Sara, Edith, Ana, Denise, Brian, Raquel, thank you guys for being here. Thank you very much. I'm going to take attendance, people. Say hi when I mention your name. I cannot take attendance, people. No, no parece el día de ahora. No parece el día de ahora, mire. Bueno, lo pondré como otro día, que es día pues, ¿verdad? Ana Victoria Galán. Ese. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Azalia. Brian David Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Orrego. No. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Denise Alejandra. Zúñiga. Present. Thank you. Diana Amilet Maravilla Navas. Present, teacher. Thank you, Diana. Edith Adilia Hernández. Present. Thank you, Adith. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Mayra. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Oh. Sara Raquel Salazar. Present, teacher. And Jancy Andrea Salordano. Present, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, everybody, for your for saying hi. Okay, now we're gonna start and uh, we're gonna provide some examples using gerunds. Here, look at this. Oh, sorry. This is class number 19. Thank you guys for being here. Let's begin. It says there, use gerunds to complete the spaces and share an example with the entire class. Vamos a ver. People, tire off. Can you give me a gerund? Tire off. Can you give me a gerund? Tire of. Hello? Tire mm -hmm. of. Waiting. Sleeping, dice. Cansado de dormir. Working. Working. Hey, street, sí, mire. Cansado de trabajar. Okay, pongámosle working. All right, all right, working, working. Tired of working. Yes. There you go, working. What about sick of? Oh, sick of, ya un poquito más avanzado el nivel. Es harto de. Sick of. Working. <laughs> no. I'm just, no. Okay, sick of working. Uh, all right. 
Guys, can you give me an example? A different, a different verb or a different gerund. Tell me, tell me. Waiting. Wait, okay, waiting, yes, waiting. That's a good one, okay? Interested in, interesado en, interested in. Let's use reading. reading. Leer and leer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it, excuse me. Is it crazy about? Crazy about. Shopping. Sorry? Shopping. Crazy about shopping, yes. Okay, crazy about shopping. All right, like. Like. Eating. Sorry? Eating. Eating. E eating. Eat. Yes. yes. Eating. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Of course. Good one. Good one. Like eating. Love. Well, these ones are easy, people. Love. Pongamosle going. Continue. Continue practicing. Uh, practice. Speak, speaking excited eso es algo un poco más complicado excited about emocionado por excited about learning English learning okay wow people listen to Jorge <laughs> excited about learning English proud of orgulloso de proud of Proud of, tell me. Yes. Proud of hosting, scientist hosting. Yes, it's like pre presenting or, or, presenting, hosting. People, how do you say hosting in Spanish? I, I don't know. It's como la aplicación, right? In Spanish, yes? Yes. I know the word host in English, but I don't know in Spanish. But host, host is the man. Hostess is the woman. Host, host is the man. Hostess is the woman. Okay, admit, oh, admitir, mentir. Admit lying, yes. Women admit lying to men. <laughs> Stop. Yes. I right, right, right. exactly, exactly. Stop. Tell me one. Stop. Stop drinking, people. Start. Driving. Exercise. <laughs> Exercising. Exercising. Wait. Exer. Exercising, try, try intentar, okay, try. Driving. Okay, try driving and prepare. Prepare. Let's use sleeping, prepare sleeping. Okay, very good. Now that we have everything here, I just need you guys to use to use the, the, the subject and the complement, okay? To give me a complete sentence. Let me choose a person to give me the first example. That person is Ana Victoria. Ana Victoria? <laughs> Can you give me an example, Ana? Sorry. I, I, am, tired, I am tired of working in my... <laughs> All right, I am tired of working in my office. Okay, yes. All right, okay, okay. Let's see, Mayra. Mayra, can you give me an example? Se quedó congelada, yo. Up. 
I don't know why. My eye is frozen. Asalia, can you give me an example? Asalia, hello. Hi, teacher. Can you give me an example with the gerund? We have the vocabulary here. I like eating Pizza Hut. I like eating? Pizza Hut. Okay, I like eating Pizza Hut. All right, Jorge, go ahead, Jorge. What, 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 what question? What sentence? Uh, it's up to you. We have the vocabulary here. You can choose whatever you want. I love going to cinema. Okay, I love going to the cinema. All right, all right, excellent, good example, Sara. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Verde. Sara, can you give me an example? Um, the qual teacher, the qualquer. Your decision. <laughs> it is up to you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> think, think. Yeah. Yeah, ya lo tengo quemado a este a esta hora, pero estoy procurando que, que tengo I, en la mente. I dislike, you can say I dislike thinking. <laughs> like eh, sleeping. I like yeah, I like I like sleeping. We like sleeping. We love sleeping. <laughs> Love sleeping, yes. Okay. All right. We, we have, we have, uh, we're going to continue, yes. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. Thank you guys for your participation. Now let's begin. Let's go to the book on page number, show it to you. Let's go to page number 46 or 47. No, my bad. It's uh, 43. Page 43. Gonna work on that page. Let's go. Great. Let me share that with you guys. It's here on page number 43. We continue talking or about accounting. Okay, that's unit number four, all about accounting, yes. Today, I will be able to interpret information from a financial statement of a company. Look at this. Let's begin. Discuss with your classmates what you know about the assets, liabilities, and stockholder equity of your company. People, let's begin by asking what assets are. What is an asset, people? Do you remember an asset or the assets? Guys, assets? What uh, is it? Activos. Exactly. Okay. Those are those are activos in Spanish. Yes. Okay. Uh, for example, guys, for example, for example, stock, sorry, inventario, okay, yes, uh-huh, okay, 
pretty much, all right? Those are, are the assets. What about the liabilities? What are the liabilities? Tell me, what are the liabilities? Guys, liabilities? ¿Me recuerdan? Pasivos. Yes. Okay. Liabilities are the opposite of assets. Okay. Pasivos. For example, people, for example. For example. Loan bank. Sorry. Bank loan o okay. préstamos bank bancarios. Loans, exactly. Yes, yes. Bank loans, yes. What else? What else? Okay, it's pretty much uh, the services that a company has to pay, like cable, electricity, water, loans, uh, you know, people that they have to pay a lot of things. Okay, and what about the stockholder equity people? Stockholder equity. Well, what is stockholder? Case is stockholder. What is it? What is that? Sign case. Guys, stockholder. No. It means accionista. Inversor también. Accionista. Inversionista. Yes. Okay, so what is equity? Uh, stockholder equity. ¿Qué significa ese, ese stockholder equity? Así os Equity, equity. Capital. Sorry. Capital de los accionistas. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes. All right, excellent. Now, in this part number two, we have a lot of numbers. As you can see, we have many numbers there. It says, read the following balance sheet of a company. Then it says, consolidated balance sheet January 31st, 2017. We got the current assets. Uh, of uh, two years, I think. We got 2016 over here and 2017. All right. Cash and equivalents. Got a lot of money. I don't know if this is billions or, or millions or billions. This is billions, right? This is some of the... Aquí son 9 millones. <laughs> 9 millones. 1 billion, right? 1 billion? Right? I don't know. A lot of numbers. All right, let's say it's 1 billion. 1 billion, 8. Get the number over there. That's the, the cash and the equivalents. It's this, mo this money and this money over. All right, you see the money over there. All right. Then we got the total current assets. Six billion and six billion in the same year, the, the different year, we have uh, six billion in both. Then we have total assets. We got eight billion over here. If you match these two or if you uh, do the math over here. Yes. And we got nothing over here. We got nothing over here. I think we have to do the math. Vamos a hacer la suma de esos dos que están acá. Le pondremos aquí abajo la suma. Esos dos. Okay. This part over here is about the assets, as you can see. The assets in 2016 and the assets in 2017. Now, let's continue with the current liabilities. The current liabilities. It says there, accounts payable. Accounts payable, 
Now we got nine billion in, uh, in 2016, and we have four billion in 2017. The total uh, current liabilities over here is uh, nine nine billion, and over here is the same nine billion dollars. It's a lot of money. All right, uh, we got the total liabilities. It's 19 billion, and over here we have to do the math. Okay, haremos lo mismo, lo vamos a sumar, nosotros vamos a sumarlas. Y ponemos la respuesta acá abajo. Stock, stockholder equity. Hold on. So, I don't know. This is a common stock. 870 million. Then we have uh, uh, eight, 867 million. Capital surplus, we get... 3 billion and we got 2 billion. Total stockholders equity, 4 billion. What is surplus, people? Surplus. You know this word? Surplus. No? It's like, like saying extra, extra capital. Extra capital, o co, como que sobra, una, capital sobra, sobra, that's surplus, okay, surplus, que sobra, o es, o es extra. All right, now, do you have any questions about this one? It's all about numbers, it's all about numbers, yes. Questions about this? No questions? No, we're good. All right. It says here, read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with the partner. How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017? People. We have to do the math. Let's go back. And it says there that we have to uh, sum, we have to sum up this one. Hold on. You see aquí, the total of assets, the total of assets and liabilities in 2017. So we have to go here, up here, and we have to do this math, the math over here. Yes. People, so how much is that? How much is that? How much is this? And this one's, and how much is that? Can you tell me? Eight billion. Here is eight billion, Aka. Yes. Okay, eight billion, he says. For an asset. For an eight billion. Eight billion. <clears throat> it's a lot of uh -huh. um eight Let's say uh eight billion, right? What about the other one? Here. Yes. Here. What about this one? Down here. How much is it? Quanto is? Forty billion. <laughs> forty, forty billion. Let's say, approximately, approximately forty yes. billion. Forty. Yes. Billions, okay, so how much is how much is between between the the total assets and the total liabilities of two thousand seventeen? It is how much is this? A billion plus 
four, 14 billion, how much is that? Mm, one trillion? <laughs> I don't know. One? No, I don't think so. It has to be 20, 22, 20, I think. 22. How much? 22. Okay, billion. it's it's like 22, 22 billion, right? I think I think it's over. So we can say over in the answer. It is over. Hold on. We can say it is over 22 billion. Billions. It is over 22 billions. Pasa de los dos millones. Okay. Then it says if we add 867 millions and two, two billion, the result is, well, we have to do the, the math. calculator, people. <laughs> you can do the math, okay? Quanto is? Tell me. Guys, how much is it? Hello. Hey. Sorry. Eight billion. Eight billions. Eight billions. Why? No. No. Okay. So maybe like. Maybe like. Um. You do. Twenty. 25 maybe. 25. Nobody says if we add. I don't know if we have oh, to yeah. add. We have oh, to yeah. add. I, I understand, I understand now. Sorry. I, I, I understand now. <laughs> yes. It would be like. It would be. It would be like. Uh, more, more than. It would be more. It would be, then 25, 25 billion. A lot of a lot of money, huh? A lot of money. Yes. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. Let's continue, people. Thank you for your participation. There is nothing else to do here. It is just numbers, as you see. As you see, it is just numbers. So there's there's nothing else to do. All right, let's continue down here and look at this. How to use zero conditional. Como usar el condicional cero. How to use zero conditional. Let me show this to you right now and it's here in the presentation. Let's begin. Okay, now we use this, zero conditional. We use zero conditional when the result will happen. The results about the condition are always or almost always obvious. Okay, here we go. Zero conditional with if. Vamos a usar el if para poder usar este condicional. Acá está. If plus simple present and the result is simple present as well. Tendremos acá que usar dos oraciones. Una que esté con la condición que inicia con el if. Y la condición. Y el posible resultado de la condición. Ambas van en presente simple. As you can see, simple present, simple present. Okay, veamos un ejemplo. Let's look an example. At an example, if I wear a face mask, I have protection. If I wear a face mask, I have protection. Look, the condition, la condición es, si yo uso mascarilla, si yo uso mascarilla, okay, the obvious, the obvious result is, I have protection, okay. 
si yo uso mascarilla, tengo protección. ¿Ok? Yes. That's how it goes. Así como va el condicional cero. The zero conditional, ¿ok? Another example. If I take medicine, I feel better. If I take medicine, I feel better. Si yo tomo medicina, dice, me siento mejor o mejoro. Si yo tomo medicina, mejoro. ¿Ok? Es el, el, el resultado es bastante obvio. Es muy obvio el resultado de la condición. ¿Ok? Una vez más. Usamos el if. El if en la condición. ¿Ok? Con frente simple. En ambas oraciones. Así como está colocado acá. If I wear a face mask. Si yo uso una mascarilla en presente. I have protection. También está en presente. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Pongamos acá. If... I strip. ¿Saben qué strip? No. Yeah. Strip. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> strip is tropezarse. Tropezarse. Tropezar es strip. Acá. Él dice, si yo tropiezo, if I trip, I fall. Me caigo. Right? Si me tropiezo, me caigo. O pongamos mejor, si me caigo. If I fall, if I fall down, si me caigo, I get look dirty. Si me caigo, me ensucio. If I fall down, I get dirty. ¿Ok? La condición es muy, muy obvia. ¿Ok? Es muy Perdón, el resultado es muy obvio. Tenemos la condición y ese resultado de la condición es muy obvio o es bastante obvio. Si me caigo, me ensucio, por supuesto, es obvio, ¿verdad? Ahora, let's take a look at more examples. I have more examples. Well, I have the structure. Look, look at the structure. Dice, if plus subject plus verb plus complement, comma, Subject and verb. And complement, of course. Okay? Hagamos uno acá. Pongámosle el if. If. If Pedro. If Pedro drives fast. Pongámosle fast aquí al complemento. Fast. Entonces, si Pedro maneja rápido. He. People. Crash. Ah. Okay. He he crash. He crash. Pongale, he crashes. Pongale, he crashes. He say, if Pedro drives fast, he crashes. Si Pedro maneja rápido, choca. Choca. Okay. T yes. Teacher. Teacher. Hola. Dígame. En, el, en la segunda parte, sujeto más verbo, aquí no va, no iría en futuro, en presente, siempre. Él chocará. Si Pedro no, maneja no. rápido, va a chocar o chocará. No. Sí, sí, entiendo, entiendo. Es que, es, explico, tenemos el cero condicional y tenemos el primer condicional también. Tenemos el cero, el primero, el segundo y el tercero. Son cuatro. Y el primero se usa para expresar dos cosas, más bien, para usar la condición. Y eh, ese, el resultado es muy obvio, la condición. No varía, no varía, eso es que es bien obvio. Por ejemplo, si yo pongo helado en el sol, ¿qué sucede? Se derrite, se derrite. ¿no? Entonces, con el cero condicional, o con el, este que está acá, que estamos explicando, usamos la condición, tenemos la condición, y el resultado es muy, muy obvio. No, va, no varía tanto. No es como si, si yo pongo futuro acá, sí, ya sería el primer condicional, sería otro condicional. Sería, así, sería otro. Y puedo poner aquí, he will, he will crash. Si sí, puede, se puede. Pero ya no sería el cero, sino que sería the first. First conditional. Que se usa para empezar el futuro. ¿Ok? Y acá no es así. 
and then zero conditional we express simple present and simple present yes so he he crashes okay he crashes vamos otro ejemplo mejor otro más sencillo pongamos acá if i smell But I smell chicken. Observen. If I smell chicken, I get hungry. Si yo huelo pollo, me da hambre. Right? That's a very, very obvious result. Yes. But don't worry, we're gonna take a look at more examples. And remember, in the zero condition now, the condition is here and the result is almost, as como dice aquí arriba, almost always obvious. Almost always obvious, okay? Look, if I don't do my job, si yo no hago mi trabajo, if I don't do my job, what happens? People, can you tell me if I don't do my job? Me despiden. I get fired. I get fired. Veamos. Vamos a ver. Oh, wow, I get fired. Exactly, exactly, people. Okay. We got more options. Look, I don't get paid. If I don't do my job, I don't get paid. Si no hago mi trabajo, no me pagan. Right? Okay. Look at this one. I just must. My boss gets angry. Mi jefe se enoja. Or I get scolded. Scolded significa regañar. Me regaña. Okay? Tenemos cuatro, cuatro resultados obvios. Si no hago mi trabajo, me despiden. Obviamente, ¿verdad? Si no hago mi trabajo, no me pagan. Obviamente, ¿verdad? Si no hago mi trabajo, mi jefe se enoja. Por supuesto que sí. Si no hago mi trabajo, me regaña. Okay? Así, así de sencillo es. Veamos otro ejemplo. Dice, dice, if Cynthia reads a lot, si Cynthia lee mucho, hello, hello, she needs glasses, maybe, veamos acá, She learns new words. Si Cynthia lee bastante, aprende nuevas palabras. She improves her speech. Mejora su discurso. Right? She knows, she knows many things. Si ella lee mucho, sabe muchas cosas. Oops. Okay, hasta ahí. All right. Do you have any questions? Preguntas. No, teacher. Recordemos, tenemos acá la condición. ¿Ok? Tenemos la condición. Y recordemos que el resultado de la condición es muy obvio. O es bastante obvio. ¿Ok? Sí. Veamos más ejemplos acá. Hay muchos más. Observen. Vamos a ver. Sara, lea primero. If, if I clean the house, my, mom, my mother is happy. If I clean the house, my mother is happy. Right, people? It is true, right? It is obvious. <laughs> okay. Jorge, the next one. If he smokes, he gets cancer. Exactly. Cancer. Sin tilde, okay? Sin tilde. No lleva tilde. Es en español. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Azalia, read the next one. Yes, teacher. If I listen to music, I relax. I relax myself. Okay. If I listen to music, I relax. Escucho música, me relajo. Okay, muy bien. Ana. Uh, oh yeah. If people eat too much, if people eat too much, they gain weight. Okay. 
if people eat too much, they gain weight. Okay. Si las personas comen demasiado, suben de peso, ganan peso, o se enferman. Okay. Cualquiera de las dos. Next, uh, Denise. Um, if you touch fire, you get burned. Okay, if you touch fire, you get burned. Si tocas el fuego, te quemas. Right? Excellent. Let's continue. Uh, Raquel, Elizabeth. People, they, if they don't eat. Okay, people die if they don't eat. La gente muere si no comen. Right? It's obvious. People die if they don't eat. Next. Let's see. Let me choose another person. Diana. Okay. You get water if you mix hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. You get water if you mix hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. If you if you mix oxygen and hydrogen, you you have water. Okay. That's the obvious result. Science. Let me see. Jansi, are you there, Jansi? Edith? Okay, this I can this it is Snakes bite if they feel cornered. Las serpientes muerden, dice acá, si se sienten acorraladas. If babies are hungry, they cry. Si los bebés están hambrientos, lloran. Okay? Yes. Very good. People, do you have any questions about the zero conditional? No. Okay. Haremos lo siguiente. Vamos a irnos acá. Hold on. Iremos acá. And uh, over here, we're going to have more examples. Okay. Más ejemplos. Pongamos acá. If, if I run 50. People, if I run 50 kilometers, si corro 50 kilometers. People, if I run 50 kilometers, what is the result? I am tired. Sorry? I am tired. Okay, I get. I get. I get tired. Significa me canso. Okay. Si corro 50 kilómetros, me canso. Otro resultado obvio podría ser I get thirst. thirsty. Okay. Si corro 50 kilómetros, me da sed. Okay. Me da sed. I get thirsty. Or, or my legs Hurt. Mis piernas duele. Okay. Hay muchos, muchos posibles resultados. Let's use another one. If if my pets please. if my pets see me si mis mascotas me ven Mm -hmm. They get happy. Se alegran. If my pets see me, they get happy. Si mis mascotas me ven, se alegran. Okay? Yes. Yes. All right. If a bee stings, excuse me. Dice, if a bee stings me, it hurts. Si una abeja me pica, duele. Right, people? 
Si una abeja me pica, duele. Sting es, es picar. Sting. Es revés. Yes. Ok. Let's go back to the presentation. Vamos a estar en el otro Vamos a ver. Ok, I have more examples. All right, look. Come up with your own. Dice ahí, come up with your own results by looking at the following examples. Ahora, eso va a practicarlo. Ustedes van a practicar conmigo. Dice acá, if I steal money, si yo hurto dinero, people, what is the possible, what is the result? What is the obvious result? Or what are I the go to jail. Results? Yes, sorry? I go to jail. Okay, I go to jail. What else? ¿Qué más podría hacer? I am done. I am? Done. Done? Así? Yes. Ok, sí, sí. I am done. Yes, yes. What else? ¿Qué más? The police. The police chase me. Me sigue la policía. Ok. Pero el más obvio es el primero, el que está... I go to jail. Voy a, la, voy a prisión. Voy a prisión. Si yo uso dinero, voy a prisión. If I steal money, I go to jail. Yes. Another one. If I leave eyes in the sun, if I leave eyes in the sun, si dejo hielo en el, en el sol, people, digamos, If I leave eyes in the sun, hello. It melts or or get melt. Okay, it melts. It melts. Melt is derretir, derretir, derretirse, se derrite. Okay, it melts. Si dejo hielo en el sol, se derrite. All right? And under the sun. All right? That one is very obvious. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue with another one. If I work 40 hours consecutively. Wow, 40 hours. If I work 40 hours consecutively, guys, what is the obvious result? I get tired. I get tired. Me canso, right? I get tired. I get sleepy. But the most the most obvious result is I get tired. Si trabajo 40 horas consecutivamente, me canso. Okay? Yes. If I work 40 hours consecutively, I get tired. Oh, before I forget, I have to olvidarlo. It's going to be the I get I get tired if I work 40 hours, 40 hours on set. También se puede de esta forma, ponemos el if en medio sin una coma separando la, la, las oraciones, si pueden ver acá. En el primer ejemplo tenemos dos oraciones, pero están separadas por una coma. Look, if I work 40 hours consecutively, comma, I get tired. Or I have the other option, and I can say, I get tired if I work 40 hours consecutively. Both are correct, and they have the same meaning. Okay? Es lo mismo, solo que hemos cambiado la, el orden. Es lo mismo, lo mismo. All right. Very good. Let's continue. Look, if I put water in the fridge, si pongo agua en la repli, if I put water in the fridge, 
what is the result, guys? What is the result? If I put water in the fridge, tell me. It's frozen. Okay, but it gets it gets ice on it freezes. Se congela. It freezes. We can also say it gets cold, como que se, se hela. Okay. Ambas están correctas. If I put water in the fridge, it freezes. If I put water in the fridge, it gets cold. Okay. Si pongo agua en la refri, se congela. O si pongo agua en la refri, se hela. All right? Yes. Muy bien, muy bien. Easy, right? If I drink too much coffee, for the coffee lovers, if I drink too much coffee, people, tell me, tell me. Hello? No. I don't sleep. Okay. I don't sleep. Si bebo demasiado café, no duermo. If I drink too much coffee, I don't sleep. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. If I sleep two hours at night, if I sleep two hours at night, si duermo dos horas en la noche, tell me, dígame. I don't rest. Sorry, I am. I Tied don't down. Tied it down. I am. Well, I am tired. Okay. That's it. If I sleep two hours at night, I am tired and sleepy. Si duermo dos horas por la noche, estoy cansado y soñoliento. There you go. And... I think that's it. If I eat vegetables, si como vegetales, if I eat vegetables, guys, if I eat vegetables, hello. I am tired. Okay, I am. I am health, healthy, saludable. Okay, if I eat vegetables, I am healthy. Si como vegetales estoy saludable. Right, fantastic, fantastic. Very good. Veamos. Okay, tenemos acá otra actividad y dice. Let's work together. Tenemos la condición, tenemos one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven conditions, and we have seven results. People, let's match them. This is the primero. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver primero. Let's do the first one. If I drive fast, si conduzco rápido, he helps people? No. I get medicine? No. His wife kills him? No. I can cause an accident? Maybe people will hate me. This one is not correct. Hold on. Okay. 
Ah, mira, un montón de trucos hay para la cebolla, pero si la congelas, mira, hace que no llores. Esto recibe, viejo. Estoy con el tacho ahí abajo, levantándolo, es un asco. Ahí está. Por sí, iniciamos. People, let's begin. I'm going to give you four minutes to complete this activity. Four minutes. Oh, number one era esta. If I drive fast, I cause an accident. Okay, people, let's match the other ones. Guys, are you ready? Listos? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Yes, teacher. Yes, Okay, I think we are ready to share. Let me just fix this one. Okay, so it will appear.
por reírse. Vamos a decir eso. Ok. If I drive fast, I cause an accident. Number two, Jorge. La siguiente, Jorge. Yes. If oil falls over me, mm -hmm. it burns and leaves a scar. Exactly. If oil falls over me, si, ca si me cae aceite encima, right? It burns and leaves a scar. Quema y deja una cicatriz. Okay, yes. Yes, thank you, thank you. Asalia, a siguiente. Okay, teacher. Um, if I have pets, mm -hmm. I am happy. Okay, if I have pets, I am happy. Okay, yes, if I have pets, I'm happy. Si tengo mascotas, te feliz. Thank you. Denise, next. Denise, are you there? No. I'm sorry, I had a phone call, teacher. Can oh, you repeat, okay. please? Well, this one, this one. If he becomes... Ah, if he becomes a doctor, mm -hmm. uh, he helps people. Okay, if he becomes a doctor, he helps people. Exactly, yes. Si él se convierte en un doctor, ayuda a las personas. Okay, yes. Thank you. Let's continue. Ana, if I go. If I go to doctor, to a doctor, um, I get medicine. Okay, yes. If I go. If I go to a doctor, I get medicine. Si voy a un doctor, consigo medicina. Thank you. Sigamos. Let's continue. Mayra. Hello. Um, if Rene kisses his ex, his wife will him. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't kiss your ex, okay? <laughs> si si Rene le da un beso a tu ex, Okay, Sara. Uh, uh, if I am algo algo is anger, uh, people hate me. Yes. Si siempre estoy enojado o molesto, la gente me detesta o me odia. Okay. Yes. Obviously, right? <laughs> It is obvious. Muy bien. Preguntas. Do you have any questions? If you have no questions, we continue. Okay, muy bien. Let's go back to the book. And over here in the book, we have more examples. Y tenemos los invertidos. Bueno, usamos el web. El web es lo mismo, okay, lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Cuando mi familia requiere un préstamo, dice acá, van al banco. También puedo decir if. No hay problema. If, if my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Raquel, hello. Hello. Can you please help me read this part? Léame. Esta parte, ayúdame a leer, por favor. Ok. What do we do if we have very low assets? Okay. If we if we have low abscess, we have to even up price prices or prices or we have to even up prices if we have low asset. If we have low assets, okay. People, what is even? Even up. Acá está even up. What is even up? Oops. ¿Alguien sabe? Uh, 
health. Rank is even. Ni nivelar. No. Nivelar. Igualar o nivelar. Eso significa even up. Even up. Significa. What do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. Or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. Thank you for reading. Uh, Diana, can you please help me read this part? Okay, teacher. Hi, where can you help me read? You... Oh, where does your family or if they live alone? When my family lives alone, they go to the back. Or my family goes to the back when they live alone. Yes, thank you, thank you. Where does your family go if they live alone? When my family lives alone, they go to the bank. Or my family goes to the bank when they need a loan. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. Now, we're going to continue down here. And we have six more sentences that we have to complete. The indication says... Complete the sentences using the words provided and the correct verb. Se refiere acá al verbo correcto. Acá el número dos, por ejemplo, tenemos my son. Colocamos el verbo burn, pero con S. Burns. Porque este es la persona. Así que haremos eso. I'm going to give you four minutes. Les daré cuatro minutos para poder hacer esta parte, la parte número 5. If you have any questions, I am here, okay? You can ask me. Teacher. Yes? For example, the number one, uh, if I wake up late. Wake up, wake up. Wake, wake up late. I am late for God. There you go, there you go. Así es. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent, Sarah. Continue, Sarah, with the, with the other ones. Four minutes. Cuatro minutos. Please.
teacher. I yes. don't understand the activity because I... Which one? Get a... Yes. ¿Cuál? ¿Número, número cuál me dijo? No, es que no oí la explicación. Me tuve que ah, no ok. Me... Vamos a colocar solamente lo que está en paréntesis. Por ejemplo, el número uno dice, if I wake up. Si me levanto, if I wake up. Wake up. If I wake up late, dice, si me levanto tarde, perdón, si me despierto tarde, I am, voy tarde al trabajo. I am late for work. Eso es lo que haría nomás. Guys, are you ready? I finished. Thank you, Denise. Guys, are you ready? It's time to share. It's hora de compartir.
¿Listos? Yes. Vamos a iniciar entonces. Right, let's begin. Uh, number one is already done. Hicimos la parte uno, ¿verdad? Número uno ya lo hicimos. Ready? If I wake up, I am. Number two, number two. ¿Quién la puede compartir? Número dos. Número dos, number two. I yes. My son burns. Uh -huh. The food is he cooks alone. Okay, will be my son burns. Oops. Burns con ese, okay? Burns the food. My son burns the food if he cooks. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cooks along. Mi hijo quema la comida si cocina solo. Ok. Yes. Number three. ¿Alguien más que la puede ver? Número tres. If employees. Hello. If employees. Um, if employees don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Don't eat. All right. Yes. If employees don't eat well, they... Can you repeat again, please? They... Aren't healthy. Okay. They aren't healthy. Si los empleados no comen bien, no están o no son saludables. No están saludables o no son saludables. Ok. Number four. Ana, read number four. Uh, when she pays her billions on time, she are, she are, have to pay extra. Okay, dice, dice, when she pays her bills on time, she, sería acá, she doesn't have, she doesn't have to pay extra money. Doesn't have. Number five. Uh, let me see. Tra Raquel. Raquel Elizabeth. I know Finnish teacher. No, okay. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Diana. Diana is not. All right. Let me see. Asalia, read number five. Um, teacher, no finish. Um, number five. Ah, okay. Don't worry. Y termino la cuatro, número cinco. Some. Número cinco. Cinco meses. Ejemplo, yo recibo. If no. the incomes are good, mm -hmm. an employee receives a bonus. Yes, if the incomes are good, an employee receives. An employee receives a bonus. Thank you for reading the news. Or here, read number six. Sure. We sell 
more products when we know know the customer's needs. Okay, we sell more products when we know. Okay, when we know the customer's needs. Muy bien, muy customers bien. Thank you. Needs. Customer's needs. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. Yes. All right. Let me continue or let's continue with the other part. Excellent, excellent. The other part is this one. Imagine, imagine that the liabilities of your company are very high. Your boss asks you and a friend to give ideas to help the company. Remember, liabilities are those responsibilities that a company has with other companies. Talking about services, loans, uh, employees that have to pay the employees, etc. So it says it says here. Imagine that the liabilities of your company are very high. Están muy elevadas. Están muy elevadas. Esos, esos pasivos. Están muy elevados. Y dice, jefe te, te pidió, te pidió a ti y a un amigo dar ideas para ayudar a la compañía. Entonces, haremos eso. Okay, we have to do a conversation. We have to do a conversation about that. Okay, people, are you ready? ¿Están listos? Sí, okay. Let me yes. create, <laughs> let me create the groups. Bring out quick. Uh, Ok, vamos. Ahí están ya creados. Los veré ahí. See you over there. I don't know the reality. Yeah. Ideas to help the company. I don't know what, what, no, what tell the company with the company. It's the, yeah, it's it's a, yeah. uh -huh. Dice acá. Yes. Imagina mm -hmm. que los pasivos de tu compañía están muy altos. Dice acá, tu jefe te pidió a ti y a un amigo dar ideas para ayudar a la compañía. 
Entonces, ustedes van, bueno, van a discutir las ideas. Ok. Liability son los pagos que hay que hacer a otras compañías. Por ejemplo, energía, agua, uh, algún préstamo, eh, delivery, hay muchas cosas okay, que una compañía paga a otras compañías. Esos son los pasivos. Lo que se paga. Continue, guys. A los proveedores. Volveré. ¿Qué va a días? ¿Ficha? Hello. Hello. I have a, we have a question. Ah, okay, I'm here. <laughs> we just have to talk about some ideas or we have to create a, a conversation and and, and then um what you uh, what you can do what you can do is, what you can do is like like uh ask Mayra Mayra what what is your idea or mm -hmm. what are your ideas or can you mention one idea okay so Mayra, Mayra, um, Mayra, Mayra le pregunta a usted uh, Denise what is your idea y se comparten las ideas. Lo pueden escribir, luego las comparten las dos. Como una pequeña mm. conversación, pero no es una, o, okay. no oficial. Okay. Okay. Como una conversación, pero no es una conversación. <risa> Te puedo seguir ahí, mira. Ok, ok. So, okay. Eh, Mayra. <risa> I think, um, I don't know, um, for example, um, In, no sé cómo se diría incrementar las ventas increase increase sales okay. increase sales increase sales increase sales but well, that would be difficult. increase sales you need more pro, more more raw material Okay, your decision. Okay, <laughs> okay. see you later. Volveré cuando estén completos. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Vamos Hello. a hacer la pregunta que dice ahí. Hello. Esa es la actividad. Sobre la pregunta que dice ahí. Sí, 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 así es. Van a proveer eh, ideas, ideas de cómo mejorar este, este, o cómo disminuir ese costo de, la, de las liabilities. Porque dice aquí, imagina que los pasivos están muy altos en la compañía. Y tu jefe te pidió a ti y a un amigo dar ideas para ayudar a la compañía. Es simple. Lo que puede hacer es, es uh, Jorge le pregunta a usted, a uh, Sara, what, what are your ideas? ¿Cuáles son sus ideas? Si usted provee, provee algunas. O viceversa, usted le pregunta a Jorge, Jorge, what are your ideas? Y Jorge da sus ideas. Ok, ok. We uh, have two ideas. For example, sell, sell more. Ok. Sell, sell more, okay. Sell more. And Sara, say the other. Sara. Hello. No, no sé. Eh, redu Hello. Reduce waste. Reduce waste, ah, sell low. more. Eh, sell more. Be, be more efficient in process. Okay. Well, you you can come up you can come up with more ideas. I, I can, think I, yes. I think uh, the other idea uh, comprar materias primas más baratas, pero no sé cómo se puede decir en inglés. Be acquire no, buy cheaper. There you go. Buy cheaper raw materials. 
Okay. Okay. Siga, continúe. See you later. Nos veremos más tarde. Nos okay, veremos bye. más tarde. Reciclar. Reciclar. Papelería. Reciclar. Ajá. Make it. Smile. Uh, the receipt is necessary to reduce the cost. Mm -hmm. Recycler. Recycler. Stationery, stas. Stationery. How you do say, teacher? Papelería. Stationery. Stationery. Okay. Stationery. I should have been and and. Pero que tomo que algo me digo que hay. No, no, pero que sí. O así es con A, no sé con cuál es el proceso. No recuerdo. Es stationary con, con A o con E. A, stationary. Uh -huh. Con A, ¿verdad? Sí, stationary. 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 Stationary, ok. Ok. How many ideas do you have? Yes, uh... Number one, the reduce the cost of the contract. Huh? Reduce, reduce the cost of the mm -hmm. contract. Um, or the, for in, inventory. Inventory. Mm -hmm. Um. Recycle is stationary. La última, repito la última. Recycle stationary. Oh. Recycle, recycle. Recycle. Oh. Recycle, recycle. Stationary. Recycle. Okay, sería, stationary. Sería recycle, recycle paper, sería ahí. Recycle paper. Paper. Paper, sí. Ah. Porque stationary es, el, es papelero, sí, papelera, sí, pero es papel ya bueno para, para, ah, okay. para imprimir, para, para guardar este, una, una software sobre eso, de eso. Ajá, una res. Recycle. Recycle paper. Paper, paper. paper ok. Um... Avoid the band, the transfer, innecessary. Mm, or avoid the, the, on the necessary travel, the travel, the cost, teacher. Casi no le escucho, mire. Ah, ok. Lo siento que he perdido mis audífonos, estoy con otros. <laughs> ah, ok, I understand. Tengo problemas de audio. No problem, no problem. Diga el último, diga el último. Uh, avoid the under, under necessary travel the cost. Oh, okay, avoid unnecessary travel cost. Okay, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, continue then. I'm going to go to another group. Continue, continue. Well, oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Hi, ¿cómo we, vamos? We had some ideas. Okay. How many? Three, four? Four. And for example... You, can you share yeah. them? Can you share the ideas? Uh -huh. I, I can read one. Pots, sales. Potenciar las ventas. 
¿Cuál es la otra? Reduce expenses. Okay. Reduce expenses or cut expenses. Reduce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Reduce expenses. Yes. Yes. Increase assets or assets. Increase. 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 Increase assets. Yes. Avoid okay. over. Avoid over in their deadness. Avoid over in over. their deadness. Es, es quitar el endeudamiento. Escucha, mira, me voy a pagar esta cosa para imitar. Evitar el endeudamiento. Oh, yes. Mira, va a un poco Está muy elevado. Quizás no me oyan. Bueno, sí. Sí. Volví. Soy un chi, chirito. <risa> chirito. Avoid over in the tennis. Ok. Ok. Muy bien, muy bien. Y sí, otra vez. Uh -huh. Sorry. Eval evaluate your expense and reduce them to the maximum. Ok. Uh, evaluate your expenses. Or expense, expenses, when I'm not hot. Expenses. expenses. Uh -huh. If you go, do you can reduce them to the maximum? Uh -huh. And reduce them to the maximum. Yes, yes. Yes. Only, <laughs> only that. Okay, muy bien. Uh, si pueden generar más ideas, muy bien, porque iré a otro grupo para ver si han avanzado ellos, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Review, review. The manufacturing process. To help, to help to reduce the waste. Okay. Hmm. Siempre que dicen, siempre que puso para reduce, me, me recuerda al, al, al anuncio de TV Offer. Al fat fast. <ríe> Acaba de enviar al chat, mire, que siempre, me, siempre que dicen reduce, me acuerdo de eso. Ay, cierto. Reduce, reduce. <ríe> <ríe> es la idea, pues la de los viejitos, ¿eh? Dice, son anuncios súper super, super, super activos. It's a good marketing. <ríe> We always remember that. Exactly. <laughs> Are you guys almost done? Yes, we finished. Okay, perfect. Let me see if Jorge and Sara are done. If they are done, then we're gonna go back to the main session. Okay? Okay. See okay. you over there. So, are you ready? Yes. All right. Very good. Muy bien. Déjeme corroboro con el último grupo para ver si están listos en ellos. Ok, teacher. Volveré. Bueno, no. Los veré en la, en la sala principal. Ok. Módulo. Hi. Are you ready? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. Fantástico, fantástico. Ok, vamos a regresar entonces. Ok, teacher. Let's go back to the main session right now. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's go. Vamos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
recording in progress. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Hemos regresado. He vuelto. People, we, before, before we share, I want to remind you of something. And uh, it is that tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to finish the module, right? Tomorrow we're going to finish. And uh, in your on your emails, in your email account, maybe there is a link about a survey. That survey will be done tomorrow during class. Okay. We are going to do it together so people do not do it by yourselves. Okay. Yes. And another thing about the platform uh, homework, you have to finish or you have to have that finished by tomorrow. Yes. All right. So work on the platform today and tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, let's begin sharing. Comencemos a compartir. Let's begin with Mayra. Okay, teacher. Uh, Denise, what ideas do you have to help reduce the company's inabilities? And my ideas are uh, review the manufacturing process to help the to reduce the waste, looking for cheaper materials to save money, and increase the prices of the products. Okay, Denise, good ideas. Thank you. And what about you? Can you tell me some ideas too? Okay, I think is increase the sales and the material, reduce the use of energy at night, maybe, and invest in solar panels, for example. Okay, that are great ideas too. Okay, yeah, your, your ideas are great. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we, should, we should send those ideas to different companies, you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your participation. Uh, Diana, you're next. Diana and uh, I don't know, Raquel, I think. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, Raquel. Hello. Of the company number one, uh, review the cost of the contract, receive reduce the concentration cost, make smaller orders for inventory, or uh, recycle paper. Paper, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, number three, uh, on the smaller order to reduce the cost. Um, avoid the bank, the transference. Um, avoid the unnecessary, necessary travel, the cost. With the unnecessary debts, okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. your participation, Raquel and Diana. Let's continue with Victoria. Victory. Asalia, can you share the some ideas for uh, reduce liabilities for the company? Yes, I am ideas in increase asset and reduce the inventory, reduce expenses and Expedite expedit collection. La, esa, repeat, repeat it. Expedit collection. Eh, agilizar los cobros, teacher. Okay. Eh, sell what you don't need. Okay. 
and you, Vicky? Yeah, um, bots or boot sales. Yeah. Um, reduce expense. Expenses. Expenses. Um, evaluate uh, your expense and reduce them to the maximum. Mm -hmm. only, only that. Okay, only that. Muy bien, muy bien. Excellent. And the last one is Jorge with Sara. Okay. Okay. Hello, Sara. What Hello. idea do you have to reduce the realities of the company? Reduce weight. Uh, sell more. Uh, be more efficient in process, buy grapper, uh, raw material, open new branches, <laughs> open new branches, mm -hmm. uh, contract new sellers, create new products. La última que dijo. Create, como create, create, no sé cómo se dice. Create, new, create. Create, create, create new, new products. Okay, create new products. So, muy bien, so. muy bien. <laughs> okay, good idea. <laughs> yes. good, idea. good, more good idea. Okay. <laughs> you finished? Yes? Yes, okay. I finished. Muy bien, thank you, thank you for your participation. Now, I need a person, a volunteer, to stay after class. <laughs> Ningún. <laughs> Nobody wants to stay after class. People, a volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you, Denise. All right. Pasaron muchos este día, ¿verdad? Yes. yes. Yesterday I was I was in my house. I was here in my house, but I didn't have electricity. <laughs> so, I the the people called me. I couldn't I couldn't be in the class because uh. Of electricity and I was a little sick so that's why yes let me take attendance people and we will be free to go vamos a ver Ana Victoria Galán present thank you Asalia Beani Portillo present present Brian David está bien no. I'm here teacher yes yes you are I I can see you <laughs> thank you Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Diana Yamilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Edith Adilia Hernández. Ismael Ernesto no estuvo. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Sara Raquel Salazar. Present. Eh, por último, tenemos a Chancy Andrea Solortan. So, uh, yes. Okay, muy bien. People, thank you very much for being here today. Okay, I really, really appreciate your effort and your time. Yes. So thank you. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Goodbye. Good see night. You tomorrow. Good night, you everybody. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. No TikTok. Go to bed. <laughs> no Facebook. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Thank you for staying. I really appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions about the classes, the topics that we have been studying? Um. Uh, actually, I I don't, but I want to ask you something about. I'm sorry. Please, can you give me a minute? My dog. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, of course, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs>
Okay, hi. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't uh, worry. I want to ask okay. you, um, I remember that, that I have a task in the section two, I think. But I don't remember if I finished and I lost the task. I don't know if you can see in the in the platform if I if I have a mistake. Yes, I can see that. I can see you. I can check your, your record and uh yes. to see where you have not finished or which part you have not finished. Yes, yes. I can see that. Hold on. Let me let me look I, for it. Let me look for it. I can start. I remember that I that I have some mistakes uh, or I think it was just one question. I don't remember. Okay, more than but I I I forgot uh, what number is or what what number it was. What number it was, yes. Ah, <laughs> Ahí me aparece, y te mancha, más fea esa, miren, me parece todo al 100 menos 1, te parece 99%. ¡Wow! Eso duele. Eso duele. Aquí está, aquí le muestro. Es en la sección, mira, aquí le parece la sección 2, así está. Acá está. Um, De hecho, no, es. Um, ahí se. Section 2. Sí, 100, dice acá, número 1, section 1, 100%, over here is. Uh, 100, dice el Esta es la 3, 2, 96. Vamos acá abajo okay. a ver, para verificar cuál parte es. Aquí está. Unit section 2 uh, es la tarea número 4. Ok, I'm tarea, going to look. Tarea 4. I'm going to look the... Solamente, solamente eso sería nomás. Ahí todo está bien. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Cuál tarea es? Y... I I had a problem with that. I remember, and and then I forgot to ask you. Uh, Maybe it's I... a platform problem. You know, sometimes the platform doesn't uh, doesn't take the answers. Vamos a ver acá, ver. ¿Cuál día mujer? I don't remember. I I heard like number four, but I I I'm not sure. Uh, That's entonces, creo que esta era. Yes. Yes. Sí, eso no, no, no recuerdo cuál es el problema acá en estas oraciones. Creo que sí, va sin punto. Uh, dice, unscramble the following sentences. Remember to use capital letters and periods at the end of every sentence or question. Mark if it is needed. Uh, What number is nine? Number nine. Number nine. Oh, okay, okay. Change. Oh, the number nine. The uh, the task number nine. The mm -hmm. question number three. The third is the one. one that I that I couldn't Esta. do. Yes, he he. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh, that one. That one. I write. Would he like? I I mean, I didn't understand if if that is a question or not because it, it, it starts with would. Exactly, and it doesn't have the question mark. Exactly. So unlike, I un write, uh -huh. unlike number four, we can see the question mark over there. Yes, exactly. So I write, would he like to buy there again? And I ask the question mark, but it's wrong. I, I, I don't know. Probemos in, in, so, in, in el signo. Okay. Okay. Only with Mire que. <laughs> with that. Sí, with sí, that. Está bueno. <laughs> Falta buena de arriba. Bueno, ah, pues no, está mala. No But we, do I have to add the point at the end? I don't know. We, uh, would he like to buy there again? Tiene que ser una pregunta con el signo. Yes, I, I don't know the, I, I, I'm not sure the, Let me show the what period. is the mistake? No, but don't worry. I can see the answer. Don't worry. Esa es la respuesta, dice. Do you like to get a refund or? Ajá. Like... Uh, yes. Cuatro, sorry. La cuatro, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. 
Augusta. Oh, oh, the the pronoun the pronoun is not there. Ah. Would would he like to buy there again? Dice, hago una pregunta entonces, pero entonces aquí está el error arriba entonces. Acá es el error entonces. Ok, ok. No es, no es pregunta entonces. Acá está, miren. Ok. Would uh, like to buy there again or he, ah, uh, he would like to buy, to buy. Tenemos una de esas, pero probemos la primera. Would like to buy there again. Auto, no tiene sentido. Yeah. Vamos a probar si es el correcto. Mire, sí, así es. ¿Por qué? Why, I don't know why. Vemos con el he. I'm going to... Would, would like to buy there Ajá, again. Sí. Sin el he. Vamos a ver ahora. Y sí, oh. mira, pues sí. He would like, he would like to buy there again. Y el puntito. Yes. Yes. Would. Entonces no es pregunta. Okay. He would. He would like to buy there again. Sí. And... Cámbialo porque ese le rompe el récord. Ah. <risa> le rompe el récord del 100, del 100 a todo. Y eso duele, duele, duele. Un poquito duele. I finished. Finished. Finally, I finished. Yes. Okay, excellent, excellent. <laughs> All right. Do you have more questions, Denise? No, teacher. Only that. Only Thank you that. for staying. Thank you for staying. All right. Okay. Yes. I will see you tomorrow. All right. Have a good night. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.